In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to determine the circumference of a circle using construction methods. We will be making use of our drawing board and drawing instruments like the compass and set squares to do the construction for a circumference of a circle. We will make use of a cylinder with a diameter of 60 millimeters as a base model from which we want to determine the circumference. If we were to cut the edge on one side and roll the cylinder open, and therefore we want to do the development of the surface area of the cylinder, and therefore we need to know how to do the circumference of a circle. We will always be writing down the mathematical equation, and therefore we have indicated the formula and with the formula which has to be written out completely we will also then write out the values of the formula and determine the circumference mathematically and this we will now prove using our instruments and our drawing paper in the end we will make use of the construction of how to divide a line into 12 equal segments because we want to do the development of the surface area of our cylinder and that will be the last part of our tutorial. We start our construction by drawing the center lines, the vertical and horizontal center lines for the circle, taking our compass, stretching it to a radius of 30 because the diameter of the circle must be 60 and draw a circle with a radius of 30 millimeters. Our second step will be to make use of our 30 and 60 degree set squares and drawing like construction lines through the center of our circle and dividing the circle into 12 equal segments. It is important to note that the construction lines must go perfectly through the center so that all 12 segments of my circle construction is done properly. This will be the result of our circle construction, dividing it into 12 segments at this stage. Our next step is to make sure that we start right at the bottom edge of the circle where the vertical center line cuts through the edge at the base of the circle and then constructing a light construction line zero degrees out to the open space on paper. For the time being, the length of this light construction line at the base of our circle will be indefinite in length. This is the result of what we have done up to this stage on paper. With the next step, we will make use of our compass and stretch the compass to the full diameter of the circle, which is 60 millimeters. We will make sure that the compass remain at a diameter of 60 millimeters or a distance set to 60 millimeters and then we will start at the base of our circle where the center line at the bottom intersects with the base of the circle and we will mark off three equal segments equal to the diameter of the circle as shown in this illustration. As a good draftsman will do, we will now erase the excess lines after the third segment on the constructed baseline. With the next step, we need to be very careful. So we are going to draw a perfectly horizontal construction line from the top right edge of the 60 degree construction line that intersects with the top right edge of our circle as indicated by the red circle and draw a light horizontal construction line from that intersection back to the vertical center line of our circle construction. Now we can see the light construction line that we just draw in better detail. This is the result of our construction up to this stage on paper. Next, we will make use of our set square or a ruler that is long enough 
to draw a light construction line from the horizontal construction that we did in the previous step all the way to the third segment at the end of our baseline construction. This is the result of our construction on paper at this stage and the diagonal line that we just drew is in fact the length of our circumference. We will now indicate the length of the circumference that we have constructed using dimensions. We do this by placing our set square on the base of our diagonal line and drawing a 90 degree leader on the far left as well as on the far right side of our diagonal line which is our circumference length and then we will draw parallel to the circumference or diagonal line a light construction line for our dimension and we will add the arrow heads and we will indicate the distance that we have measured with a calibrated scale ruler, which in this case will be 188.49 millimeters. Now we have the result of the constructions that we have done on paper. Here I am just doing an illustration to show that the circumference that we have now constructed, we are going to place in line with the base of our cylinder on the front view and project that distance out and then measure off the length of the circumference on the projected baseline construction from our cylinder in the front view. Although the cylinder and the front view has not been indicated here on the far left of our new construction, here is the start of where we will draw our baseline which we now want to divide into 12 equal segments to do the development of the cylinder. We start doing the development of the cylinder by dividing the baseline into 12 segments as mentioned before and we do this construction by placing our ruler at point A of the circumference line and drawing an angled line of any length and any angle into the open space. This line that we want to draw now, as we have mentioned, can be at any length and angle, and it will be a light construction line that we draw into the open space on our paper. Our next step will be to take our divider or a scale ruler and mark off 12 segments on the projected diagonal construction line and all of these segments must be equal in length and I am using 10 millimeters as spaces between each one of these segments. Make sure that there are 12 segments marked off on the diagonal line. Once again, as a good draftsman will do, we will now erase the excess lines at the far right of our construction line. This will now be the result of our drawing at this stage on paper. Next, we will make use of our ruler, which will serve as the guide, and our set square, which will serve as the slider, and we will position them together so that segment 12 and point B of our line on the far right will be perfectly aligned and draw a light construction line to connect segment 12 with point B of the line and this will serve as our main segment and angle that we're going to use for the rest of our construction. We will now maintain the angle that we have determined at 12B, which is our main angle, and we will now draw parallel lines on each of these segments, like in this example from 11 to the baseline AB of our development we must make sure that these lines are perfectly parallel to 12B. We will now make sure that our ruler that serves as a guide remains in position and then slide our set square along the edge of the ruler to segment 10 and draw another light construction line from 10 to the baseline of our development on line AB. We will keep on drawing these parallel construction lines from our segments to the baseline AB of our development all the way through to the 
end as we can see here and we still make sure that each line is perfectly parallel to 12b. And here we have the result of our construction of how to divide a line into 12 segments so that we can do the development of our cylinder on line AB. And finally, here is an illustration and presentation of our final result where we have determined the circumference firstly for the baseline of our development and then also our formula that has been indicated and all our constructions have been clearly labeled. Well done and thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that you have learned something about the circumference of a circle and how to divide a line into equal segments. See you next time.